Okay, so today what we're going to be looking at is creating some materials in Photoshop. Uh, let's try to do this as fast as possible so that you get the information and then you can try some stuff uh, yourself. So we're going to start off by creating what's called uh, notched metal. Um, and we'll start off very simply uh, to create one section of the metal and then we can expand it from there uh, as, a, as a texture. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to hit Control N, start a new document. We're going to call this Metal, or we can just call it Metal. Mm, yeah, just call it Metal. And then we're going to create this at 20 pixels. So we're going to change this over here to pixels. I'm going to make this 20 pixels square. 20 pixels over here. And then after that, we hit OK. And now from here. Uh, we want to go ahead and zoom in. There's a couple of ways we can zoom in. We can either just do the middle mouse button. Or we can hold control down. Uh, sorry, hold control down and hit the plus key. Just keep hitting it until you get to the full size. And like I said, we can do that also by holding control down, uh, uh, holding uh, alt down, and using the middle mouse button like that. Now we want to hit Control S to save. So now from here we want to hit Control. Uh, we want to hit Control R to um, to show the ruler. Hold on, let me see. From here we have the ruler up here, Control R, but you were so close, the ruler's so small. So if I hit Control R again, the ruler's off. Hit Control R and the ruler's back on. If I hit um, Control. K, I can get the preferences and I can go down here and change the pr uh, properties of the ruler if I need to do so. But the easiest way to do this is just uh, select the ruler and double click it. And now I get the ruler preferences here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these units from inches to pixels. And now I can see the full pixel align on the ruler. And hit OK from there. Once I'm done setting that up, I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control S to save it. Control S to save it and save it. Make sure you're saving it in the proper folder. I'm just going to save this in my documents for now. And I'm going to save this as Metal P PSD. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up here to the ruler and I'm going to just drag a ruler out. Now, it's fluid right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down shift so it snaps into particular places and I'm going to make sure that this is right on the zero line and then I'm going to do the same thing over here is I'm just going to drag this ruler out and I'm going to hold shift down till I get to uh, the center point here. So the next thing I want to be able to do is uh, go ahead and um, select the uh, swatches and if you don't see your swatches over here what you're going to end up doing is going over here to uh, window and go all the way down here to swatches and you can select that and it will open up here and then you'll see the little icon right there what we're going to do is we're going to select the 20% uh, gray select here just put your mouse over it and it will tell you which one it is and then you select that and now I'm going to hit uh, the M shortcut key which will select this marquee menu this marquee rectangle here and I'm going to drag it until it snaps with the grid. After that, I'm going to hold uh, Control Backspace, I'm um, Alt Backspace, and it's going to fill that out. And to deselect that, I hit Control um, D. Um, and and we're we're pretty much going to do the same thing. We are going to do the same thing with the other ones, except we're not going to do 20%. We're going to do 40. So uh, if I come over here and I look over here so we want 40 which should be here oh that's 30 here's 40 percent gray and I'm gonna do the same thing with these other ones so just uh, select this alt backspace and then we're gonna do 60 
and after that we're going to do 80. Now if you ever have a problem with selecting these, you can always go to the menu over here and actually change these to extremely large like this and then you can actually see whether you're getting 20%, 30% or whatever grays that you're getting here. So that might make it a little bit easier for you. Um, you can even just do it this way, hover over it and it'll tell you which percentage it is like what we did before. But when you're searching for these grays, if it makes it easier for you, just go ahead and select that one and scroll down and then it'll tell you again which one you are selecting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define the shape of our notched metal pattern. Uh, so I'm going to hit Control uh, A to select everything. Once I do that I'm going to go over here to the corner until it changes to an, uh, a rounded uh, arched arrow, a corner like a really smooth arched arrow. As you can see there, now I'm going to drag this, select and drag till it snaps to the middle but I'm going to hold shift down so it snaps as I drag it. I'm going to release that and then I'm going to go up here to the width and the height. I'm going to lock those two and I'm going to select the width and I'm going to type 150 and then I'm going to press the enter button near the number pad because Photoshop has, there's a difference between the enter button where the keys, the regular keys are and then the enter button on the number pad. The enter button on the number pad is like execute the command that I just did. So that's the button we're going to, that's the, uh, the key we're going to press, the enter key on the number pad. And then I do that and I can do it twice to finalize it. It's still selected. In order to uh, get rid of that selection, I can hit control D to release that selection. Okay, after this, we're going to now define our pattern. So we're going to go up here to edit. We're going to go down here to define pattern. Click that and now I'm gonna leave this as uh, metal and I could just take this out. Let's just say metal. Click OK. Okay so now let's uh, go see this th this pattern work. So I'm gonna hit Control N. I'm gonna start a new uh, document and I'm gonna call this notches. going to make sure this is 400 uh, by 400 and make sure this is 72 and then click OK. Once I have this I can go ahead and hold Alt down and zoom in just a little bit. Control S to make sure it's saved. The other thing I'm going to do is, is uh, I notice this is locked. I want to go ahead and unlock that. It may not make a difference but I unlock it and I'll just call this um, notches. Click OK. Once I do that I'm going to go here now to uh, edit and I'm going to go to fill. Once I do that I select uh, pattern and I select this one and I can select the pattern we just created. And if I hold it over there you'll see it'll it'll show the name that we had just created. Click OK and it fills it with that pattern that we just created. And so if you want to add some uh, variation to this, what we can do is um, add another layer to here by holding Control, I mean Alt, Control, Shift, and N to create a new layer. And we're going to, um, let's uh, give that layer a name. Let's call it Variation. And then uh, click OK. From there, we're going to select that layer, go to filter, and we're going to go to render, and go cloud, and then uh, we're going to hit 6 to make the opacity 60, and then we're going to go down here to overlay to create that overlay there. And that's one variation. You can also hit control J to copy that, duplicate it, and then um, check out some different overlay patterns that you can do here can control T, turn that around, click uh, click the uh, enter key near the number pad to finalize that, that rotation like what we did before. Um, 
and so here I can actually change this around also by hitting control L and changing the variation of that to make it more random click OK and so now if you look over here we have two different notched metal uh, types um, and we can keep going on and on with this we have the, the base we have the this variation and then we have the variation copy which we can also merge and there's your final uh, product of uh, which are notched metal and you can go ahead and expand this and use it in a game or anything else